Welcome to our short guide on seeing an unusual event in the night sky, the planet Venus in front of the Pleiades star cluster. If you have a clear sky tonight, the 3rd of April, take a look to the world as the west after sunset. You should see a really, really bright object, far brighter than any star. It's not a plane or even a UFO, it's the planet Venus. Now Venus is about the same size as the Earth, but it's only about 108 million kilometers from the sun, 40 million kilometers closer than we are, and that makes it a lot hotter. It also has a thick carbon dioxide atmosphere that traps a lot of heat. So temperatures on the surface are really extraordinary, 462 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt lead. Now that atmosphere also reflects a lot of light, so it looks bright in the sky, but we don't get to see anything of its surface from the Earth. Now tonight though, it's sitting in front of a cluster of stars in the constellation Taurus, the bull, called the Pleiades, or these seven sisters. And this is a group of about a thousand stars that formed in the last hundred million years or so, really quite young by the standards of stars, certainly compared with our sun. And with our eyes, we can see the seven brightest of those, that's why it's got the name Seven Sisters, and with binoculars, you can see many more than that. Now, if you do look through a pair of binoculars, if you have a clear sky at the planet in the cluster tonight, and I strongly recommend that you do, um, it's very, very easy to do, then Venus will look incredibly bright and it'll be surrounded by that pretty group of stars. Now, the Pleiades are way, way further than Venus, about 105 million times further away, more than 400 light years away. So it's just a happy coincidence that they happen to be in the same part of the sky. But it's a great chance for astrophotographers, and it's also a great chance for anybody who's never seen a planet or never seen a star cluster before, because the two of them are lined up in, in the same part of the sky. So do try and take a picture, or even with a smartphone, you can get a pretty good result, and share it with everybody too. If you tweet us at Royal Astro Sock, we'll do our best to feature the best images that we get. And let's all enjoy the night sky, one of the things we can appreciate, even when we're all staying at home.